Hello everybody and welcome back to Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. As always, I am Dor, and today before we go ahead and get started here, there's going to be a bit of a channel change next week, the 15th through the 19th. We're going to go ahead and test run a different time schedule here. We're going to try and upload our videos at 9am instead of the 6am that we're currently doing. According to my analytics on my page here, it tells me that most of you are watching my stuff between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. So we're going to go ahead and change it to, to 9 a.m. and see if that works any better. If not, then we're just going to change it back to 6 a.m. I'm not too worried about it. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, thank you to everybody who subbed over the last week or two here. That's, uh, I've gone up like 40 subs in the last couple weeks here, so that's pretty sweet. So before we actually attack Dubno here, I went ahead and changed everybody's stuff out, right? They're all wearing the desert top and the forest combat pants, so they kind of all match. They're all mostly wearing the Spetsnaz helmet. They're all wearing the gas mask. A few of these people here, these are our general dudes that can't die, aren't wearing the chest pieces or the helmets because their armor rating is not high enough. And even if, at, if they're at max rank like this lady is, they're still not high enough to wear them. So I think these people are just going to have to deal with what they... They can kind of squeeze in on their ranking. Our Spetsnaz guys are all wearing the same thing, the gas mask, the helmets. They all have the AK-12 rifles now. Those are the highest damage things that I found for them. So they're all rocking those now instead of the M4 things they were rocking before. Our SMG guys are rocking the uh, AK-74U looking thing, the AKS-76. That's the highest SMG that I found on the map here. So they're all rocking those now. They're all also wearing the 75 armor and the and the Spetsnaz helmet as well. And then if we take a look at our snipers here, they're all rocking the same outfit and armor and stuff. They're all rocking the sniper rifle, which is the SR-100, which is the one we were running for a little while. Except this is just the standard version from the gunsmith at a, at a town, not the blacksmith, like, little boosted one. Those would take forever for me to get my entire army kitted out with black market weapons because you can only buy one at a time before the black market despawns. And then I think it comes back once a week or something like that. I don't know the, the timing on the black markets popping up, but there's no guarantee that they'd have that weapon over and over again. So it's it, it, would, it would take forever for me to do that. And then our new squad here, which is the LMG team, they are all rocking the LMG that we have, I believe. And then they're all rocking pretty much the same stuff except the chest piece because their armor rating is not high enough. So they have the little 60 chest piece instead of the 75 one. I don't think it's going to matter too, too much, but that's what they're rocking. We only have two squads of these guys. We are up to 200 army size, right? But we can only still deploy seven teams, I think it was, or 11 teams. I have to see here when we go into fight, but we it's it's really no point in in getting a bigger army here. It, it, it's just not going to matter. We're going to just move around the map slower and slower. But we need to go ahead and attack Dubno today, right? We're going to attack Dubno and we're going to attack Babin. For the last commander guy that we can get, or companion, we need two of these guys, two of these Umin terrorist guys. And the only way for me to get them currently is by attacking either Babin, Berezno, or Drubin. Those are the only three towns that have these guys. In the normal game mode, they are their own faction. They walk around the map and do stuff. In this in this game mode, the challenge mode, they are not their own person, their own faction, apparently. And the only way, and the only towns, apparently, that they're in is these three towns. They might have been in these two towns, but we might not have taken them prisoner. The This guy is a prisoner from one of these towns, I believe, or somewhere back there. I don't remember where I got him from, but he was already in prison and in so yeah, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and attack Dubno right now. Let me go ahead and set our troops in motion, or at least set up their, their attack thing, and then we can go ahead and get things going. Okay, so we don't actually have these guys doing any any running around right now, because there's a big blob right here, right? And I don't know if there's going to be enemies there, so I don't want to go ahead and lay out a little run path, just in case there's a bunch of people here, and then they end up all dying, because they're just going to run past these guys. So we're going to go ahead and start this. Let's just see if there's anybody there. Oof. Let's go ahead and put that there so we can see... Is there anybody there? There is a lot of people there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our snipers. I think they're in a good spot. Let's go ahead and get our unkillable guys to go ahead and push up. And let's get these guys to start creeping with them. We're going to keep these guys kind of separated a smidge. These are our assault guys. Go that way, please. Our LMG guy and our assault guy. Our SMG guys are going to... Ignore completely everything that's going on here. We're going to have them all charging. And we're going to have them... Let's have them go here and then here for right now and see how that works out. 
So we are... Uh, I think we're losing a little bit of our unkillable dudes, so I'm not too worried about that. Those are those are just fine to, to have get hurt and all that. So let's have these guys go there. Our sniper killed somebody again. Oh, wait, no. Our LMG guy killed somebody. So I think this little area is pretty much clear right now. Yeah, it's got a couple more people there. It's fine. It's not too, too bad. Let's take a look here. That's a dead guy. Those guys are all dead. There's a couple guys there. Let's go ahead and try and thin these guys out a little bit. If we can actually hit our shots. There we go. So cool. So those guys are dealt with. Let's get our... I think these guys are running away. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what they're doing. Let's get the clear, though. Let's have them push that. Let's have one and... We'll have one push up to that building. We'll have assault. Where's our machine gun guys? Our machine gun guy's here. Let's have him push the flag with our guy there because I don't think they're actually going there. And we'll have the other assault team push maybe this building here, I guess. That'll work. And then we'll have three and four. We actually lost a guy in team three here. We'll have these guys push the top of this hill. We'll have these guys actually charge as well. Push the top of the hill here. Number three can go there as well. We'll have you cut back a little further and show up there maybe. And then we can have our LMG guy follow along with them. Something like that over to there. Uh, can I plop the thing? There we go. And then we need our sniper team to go ahead and run up there. And where are we going to put them? We're probably going to put them on that little hillside with these guys which hopefully doesn't cause any issues. Let's put them like right there. And it looks like our, our submachine gun guys are doing just fine. They're not getting shot at yet. We have 72 seconds before another nine people come in and then 178 seconds before five more come in. So that's not too bad. We're gonna have a little bit of a disadvantage. Once those guys come in, we, we, we're kind of at one already, but it's not too bad of one. So we're not too too worried about it just yet. Let's go ahead and get our submachine gun guys here in a second. Once we get out of the shadow, we're going to go ahead and have our submachine gun guys cut in and go to the, uh, the the flag that's over here by them. Actually, that's the one that's by them. Oh, there's a double up right there. I didn't realize that. I thought there was just one. I didn't, I didn't realize that. We'll have the submachine gun team actually... Let's have them cut across. Because there's probably a bunch of people here or here. They're, they're, they're on one of these things. Let's have our submachine gun guys. Actually, let's yeah, let's have them go here and then split off into their own little teams. We'll have one go there. We'll have one go there, and we'll have the last one. Let's have them. I I uh, let's have this first team. Let's have that first team go there, and we'll have this team go there. That might help a little bit. I don't think that team's going to do anything, but we'll just have them there just for the sake of having them there. These guys are done capturing this flag, so that means these guys can go ahead and start moving in. Is there an alleyway right here? There is an alleyway. Let's get him going here and to there. The other assault rifle team can go ahead and just push right up the middle. And then our LMG team can go ahead and follow in with them and just hang out here. Let's have them charge, actually, because they have the uh, the big guns. Go ahead and catch up to our guys here. Something I've been doing in between episodes, too, is I have the option to just auto-engage people now, right? So it, it speeds up the ability to rank my army up so fast because I can just go to an army and then auto-attack an army. And it just instantly kills the enemy. I don't have to sit there and deal with the little mishaps that keep happening where people don't spawn in or or random things like that. So I've been doing that quite a bit. Just going to a place or going to a, an army wandering around. I haven't done it to an uh, actual town or anything like that. But uh, just going to them and then auto attacking and it instant wipes the team. It's pretty sweet. It works really well against the... Uh, the, the, the little army bases that they have all over the place, the little, like, faction stronghold thingies. Works pretty well against those things. That's not a group. That is a group. Let's see if that does anything. There we go. Only 19 left of them. Let's go ahead and have our guys here 
because they're all done. Let's have these guys move in here. Assault teams can go ahead and move in. This is our assault team. Let's have you cut around and go in. These guys can go ahead and push in. These guys can push in there. These guys, those are our snipers. We don't want them going in. We can have these guys move. These guys can go ahead and push in as well. We might be getting them a little too close though. I don't want them getting grenaded. Let's have this team go here because we do have some more coming in right now, spawning in. These guys are completely ignoring my demands because they they lost one guy here and they don't want to fight anymore, okay? Some machine gun guys are fine. We'll leave them be. We should capture this flag here in just a second and then it's going to auto kick us out of here. See if we can see any of these guys spawning in because the, the, the spawn thing was over there. Yeah, they're right there just chilling out. Oh, never mind. Didn't get to shoot my RPG. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and auto give this to a guy. We have plenty of them ranked up. Oh, we would have got some for free. I didn't have to buy them if I would have just took this down. Dang it. But uh, whatever. So let me see. We have some Posna people and a desert guy. I'm not too worried about that. We don't need them. So we're going to go ahead and rank one of our guys up, right? We have some of them already max rank. Actually, let's see. Is this guy... Let's do that. That's going to make him max rank, I believe. You max rank now? Yeah. So he still wouldn't be able to wear a better chest piece, so we can just go ahead and get rid of him. Let's go ahead and dump five into this thing. We're probably going to leave it at five. We're not going to max them out to ten anymore because I'm not really seeing a reason to max this out to ten. It doesn't really seem like the, the speed that it builds things is any faster than I would be building them. It still takes two or three days for things to be built in town, so we're just going to we're gonna leave that be. We're going to max these things out a little bit. We'll put a little bit into finance, put one into medical, and now we can go ahead and let him go. Lead your own troops. Cool. And what town did we just take? Dubno. So we need you defending Dubno. Nope. Wait. Hold on. What are you doing? Guard City. Where's Dubno? Need you to Dubno. And then we want to make you the mayor of Dubno. Yes. There we go. And that should do the trick. So now he's going to go ahead and he's going to fill the garrison here. Which, I don't need those guys. He's going to fill the garrison here. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And he's going to also just auto-build the things that need to be built here. He's going to fix the buildings that need to be fixed. So we have a completely hands-off thing now. So what I think I'm going to end up having to do here, right? These two have the, the, the mayors already in them. We also have a mayor in Chernivka and Lipno. What I might end up doing, because we don't have all 28 of these guys available to us in this game mode for some reason. At least I'm not finding them anywhere in the bars anymore. I have one more guy who's in Berezno, and the rest of them, I don't know where they're at. I don't think they're in this game mode. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do that, right? We're going to we're gonna probably take the mayors off of these towns as we start taking more and more towns, especially if they're already max ranked on uh, garrison units and they're not completely angry, right? We're going we're gonna to be swapping them in between building or in between towns here so that hopefully we can uh, have these guys just auto filling the garrisons and then as these things need more troops or the buildings start breaking because they're rioting or whatnot we can just swing by and fix the buildings or do a quick swap of uh, of of commanders back and forth so let me go ahead and set the troops up on babin real quick hopefully we get one of these militant dudes and we can finish off this quest. So I actually might have messed this up a little bit here. I didn't pay attention to how damaged our troops were off of that last town we just took. We went straight from there to here without letting them heal any. So that might be a bit of an issue. Uh, these two teams here have six out of seven. They should have seven. I don't know if those people full on died or if they're only injured and they're, not, they're just not being deployed because of that. So we don't really know how da damaged these guys are. We can't check that now that we're in this screen. So we kind of just have to deal with what we put ourselves into here. So we have our sniper teams deployed on hilltops. And hopefully these can kind of lay down some shots because the town's pretty flat for the most part. And I'm hoping that they spawn in the open because this is pretty open. This is pretty open. So hopefully the teams that are sniping are in good spots. So we have our assault rifle teams. We're going to have them move in on this flag here. We have one taking cover behind the car or two of them taking cover behind cars. We have the other one pushing a house and a little hill. Hopefully this guy's safe from fire. Hopefully the hill's big enough for them to hide behind. 
We have our SMG team flanking all the way on the side here. We're going to have them take cover on this house. And depending on where the enemies are, we're going to have them move into this flag. If there's a bunch of people on that flag, we're probably going to have them move up a little slower. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and have that going here. So let's go ahead and see if this works out. Hopefully our guys aren't too, too damaged here. We are 385 on health. They, like I said, there's no way for me to check them. So we just kind of have to, to cross our fingers and hope they're not a, a bullet away from death. So let's go ahead and run up here on this hillside with our sniper team. Maybe land an RPG that can wipe out a good number of them would be preferable here. Let's see. Can we see anybody once we get up here? Yeah, there are people there. Doesn't look like a lot of them. Well, there's a couple there. There's a little bit there. Sniper team does have eyes on them, so that's good news. Let's go ahead and do that. That's another little grouping on that hillside that's still just hanging out there. Our RPG is not having the damage at that range, though. Let's go ahead and get some of these guys off that flag. And then we can go ahead and have... Oh, you know what? Can I see the other flag from here? Let me do that so I know where I'm looking. Let me grab my LMG. Is there anybody on that flag? I can't really tell. Okay, let me lay down real quick. Let me have... Let me have these guys move in. There are people there because they're shooting at something. Let's have these guys move to that building. And let's have... Let's have Team 1 go to this, right? Team 2 can go here, and then Team 3 can go ahead and we'll have you guys just push. I don't want to have them push up, to be honest. Eh, let's just have them push up. They'll either get it or they won't. Our SMG team here can go ahead and move in on the flag. Hopefully there's not too many people there. I didn't see that many red dots shooting at them, so hopefully they can go ahead and capture that. We have enemy squads fleeing, so that's good news for us. We have 185 seconds before another enemy team spawns in, but there's only 10 of them, so that's not going to be that big of a deal. Go ahead and get that guy out of there. Are our guys capturing the flag yet? They are indeed capturing the flag. These guys are fine. There's nobody firing at them there. Let's go ahead and get all of our assault teams on the flag then, so it, I think it captures faster. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. I don't I don't think it does. I'll just go ahead and do that just to get it going here, hopefully. And then we can go ahead and move our sniper teams if we want. I kinda wish I could move them into the buildings, but they won't uh they won't go into the building. Kind of a bummer. We'll have team one go ahead and rush on over here. We can have team three go ahead and rush on over here. And we can have Team 2. Is this a hilltop right here? It kind of is. Let's have them go here. And hopefully that works out a little bit for them. So these guys are done. Let's go ahead and have Assault Team 1. Assault Team 1. We're going to have go here. And 2 can go there as well. Oops. We need 2. There we go. And then 3 can go here along with four and our SMG team can go ahead and start flanking they have 95 seconds before 10 people spawn in let's have you guys go here and then we'll have you guys flank around backside something like that maybe yeah we'll go we'll go here not quite in the doorway just yet but we'll have them go there and we'll have two one and two go ahead and push up this door oh wrong button we need uh, one and two going here. And then that'll work out a little bit for us as well. Let's see if our snipers are going to hit anybody. There's only 11 people left. I think the major majority of these people went ahead and fled. So we really don't have an issue going into this thing here. There are some people on that flag. Not too bad. Let's have these guys go with these guys. Hopefully we don't lose too many people here. We are having some people injured, but they're not dying. Oh, we're out of RPGs, and we, we won. I guess we killed everybody before we took that flag. So cool. So that's two towns down. We don't need any of this stuff. I'm not even bothering taking this stuff and selling it anymore. We have so much money. I don't know what to do with it. And we didn't get lucky. Oh, that's a bummer. We needed one of the Uman terrorist guys, and we didn't get him. Oh, no. Right? 
yeah, we needed this guy, and we got that guy. We have another one of these guys in the prison already. So I guess next episode, we're going to have to take over Berezno. We're going to have to take over Berezno, and we're going to have to take over Drobin. Those are the only two towns left that have the Uman Terras guys, and that's that. That's what we need in order to get the last guy that we can pick up right now. I don't know where the other, was that, 13, 12 people are. They're just not on this map. But, uh, yeah, for right now, I think that's going to be it. We're going to go ahead and give this to one of our companions, I suppose. She's not, she's in our thing. She's not a, a mayor of anything. Okay, I don't know why that is. I think I ranked her up and I did, they didn't give her anything. So let's go ahead and give her Babin. You can have Babin. Lead your own troops. Go ahead and guard Babin. Go ahead and hold on to Babin as a mayor. Point you as mayor. Babin, good on you. So now we have her dealing with Babin. Yeah, and she'll deal with the the uh all the building, all the all the happiness stuff, all the garrison stuff, so we have absolutely nothing to worry about now, which is fantastic. Can we see really quickly how damaged are our guys? So we did have one full-on death in our Spetsnaz team. We had two full-on deaths in our Spetsnaz teams. And that's all we lost. Okay, so that's not too big of a deal here. We have four of these guys as backup, so we can just go ahead and replace that really quick. Go ahead and give you another guy, give you another guy. And now everybody's back to full full power. We just need to go ahead and let them heal. Maybe swing by one of our towns that has a hospital in it to go ahead and just auto-heal everybody. But, uh, yeah, that's going to go ahead and be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. Next episode, I guess we're going to have to take over these two towns. And if neither of those towns give us the guy we need, then we can't get this last guy. And there's nothing we can do about that because they don't spawn on the map. So uh, <laughs> that's going to be fun. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.